What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today is a very exciting day it because is. we have decided, we've talked about this a bit in the past, but we have decided to get another dog. And Because we're insane people. <laughs> <laughs> we're slightly insane, but we're also not because we just love animals and we really need a dog that's like a bigger dog. Cause we Live have, start stock guardian. Yeah, Live live start. <laughs> A livestock guardian dog, which to just basically means ones. that they have, um, you know, they're larger, they're, you know, naturally, instinctually herding dogs, things like that, and they'll just kind of help protect our little ones <laughs> from the forces of evil out Yeah, because if you've seen our last couple of vlogs, we've had like coyotes living in the backyard. Literally on our property, we think there's a coyote den. And yeah. so, I mean, this dog is not going to be like outside it's all the like time. It's not like a solution like, to that, but. No, but it will help. Uh, especially like on walks and stuff and just right. like you know when we're out in the backyard it'll help Got keep a them pack, away. you know yeah a pack versus just the two yeah guys. so we are looking at a bunch of great Pyrenees mixes right yes. now yes yeah which a lot of you guys said like check out the Pyrenees like it's exactly what you need we have somebody from the rescue coming over here in a bit so we're scrambling around to get the house ready and Doing cleaned up check. Um, for the home check and then actually on Monday we're going to go see the puppies. Oh, is she here? She could be. Here. Oh man! Uh -oh. All right, all right, guys. It might be time. Ready. All right, home check is complete. Yep. We got the thumbs that was up. So funny. Super fast. That was so fast. We of course were like panicking. We like weren't we're even like a child, but she was so chill. Is ready, Beazle? I'm ready. You ready? Puppy. Puppy <laughs> I'm excited. For oh my gosh, we're gonna have a puppy again. Yay! I thought I wasn't gonna have a puppy again. For, I didn't think we were gonna get a third dog. Oh. If we didn't move to this house, I probably wouldn't be down to get yeah. a dog. This is like, this area is why, all of our neighbors have them, it's kind of like yeah. what you've got here. But. Gotta have a big one. For oh, the... I'm so excited though. <laughs> Look at our stupids. I don't know if we want a female or a male. It's all kind of up in the air right now. I think, I think male's gonna be more territorial probably. Yeah, so maybe a female. I no, but a male might be better for what we need, so. yeah. But we'll just play it by ear once we move. Yeah, we gotta Because we clearly have two though. savages right here. So I'm trying out a new curling iron right now. This is the T3. They had it on sale at Ulta and I've been eyeing it for a while so I decided to get it. And it comes with like two other different sizes. It does like tousled wave, tousled. How do you say that? Is it tousled, tousled? For what? Like waves, like hair, tousled waves. Oh, I have no idea. I <laughs> call it waves. <laughs> well, there's three different types of waves. This whole thing is for waves. Loose waves, undone waves, cascading waves, and tousled waves. Do, um, no, I'm not. Ways. I'm really not asking for your opinion. Oh, okay. Thanks, though. I'm getting a lot more used to the blonde color. Like, I don't know. Last week, I literally was, I hated it, to be honest. <laughs> but I feel like I'm getting used to it now, and I actually really like it. I think it looks pretty good, and it's not forever, you know? Next time I dye it, I might add more brown. The problem is I asked her for Biolage highlights, and I think, I mean, she was from the Ukraine, so we... Had a lot of miscommunication, uh, which she was so good, and her color skills are amazing. She was awesome. I would even go back, but I just have to make sure I really clearly, because I didn't do a good enough job of communicating, but I wanted highlights instead of biolage, and instead she like did the whole bottom blonde, and I wasn't really like ready for that, you know? So it was a little shocking, but actually I think it looks pretty good. Are you excited to get another dog? Yes. Are you excited? Yes, baby? She's such a playful dog, yeah, and Bernie's really not. <laughs> yeah, so she needs a buddy. We need to find one that's very playful and wants to play, to play like, with she'll play a friend. She'll play all day long. Yeah, yeah, she really will. She needs an active friend. All right, I just finished curling. Um, I had trouble getting some of my strands to hold a curl, which I normally don't actually have that problem because I have really fine hair, and it actually normally picks up curl pretty well I don't know if it's even like a fine hair thing to do but I've always had no problem with that and uh, maybe just because this is a bigger barrel I don't know it was like really hard and then I also noticed a smell that smelled like burning but also I did um a coconut oil treatment on my hair last night and there's possible that there's like still coconut in it and it's kind of like burning off as I curl so I don't know I'm gonna give it another try but I don't know I wasn't as impressed as I thought I would be so I was about to start filming and then I realized that I had no eyeliner um, I was looking around every everywhere for it I don't know I think I may have even left it up in the mountains so I'm headed to Ulta right now to get 
some more. Okay, let's do a little haul. Of course, this is why I don't normally go into the Ulta stores. <laughs> I normally do my shopping online because it actually helps me not spend as much. Because when I'm in stores, I get like excited and the little like, you know, the little uh, setups they've got, the little what it, what it displays. Yeah, it grabs your attention. Yeah. And I'm a sucker for that shit. So of course we bought like way more than I was planning. I wanted to just get an eyeliner, but I came out with like a bunch of shit. <laughs> so, all right, cruelty free beauty haul. Here we go, guys. I got a free gift. What is it? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna find out. This is from Revolution Beauty. Oh, sweet. Damn, this is a nice free gift. Oh my God, ow. That hurt. <laughs> and we're back. This is a sick free gift or foundation I bought and the reason why I bought it um, is because it's a glass bottle. Sorry, that's how I check, make sure. And they gave me a powder, HD powder and contour kit. This is sick, this was just a free gift. I'm so confused. Two lipsticks, which I'll never wear these colors because I'm boring as fuck. What is this? Flawless foils. Cool. A neutral eyeshadow palette. All of this was free. I got a Canadian hemp seed clay mask by Freeman's, which Freeman's makes good masks. And they're also really affordable. Josh got um, some Jack Black products, Here, which- Give this woman this. Oh. Oh, there's a woman out here. Oh my gosh. She's got a kid out here. She's got kids out in the sun. If you're out here with your kid, it must be desperate. I you know. know. Skincare? Yeah, I'm super excited to try that. Yeah, I've heard I'm this the brand worst when good. it comes to, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say hygiene because that no, makes you're, sound. No, no, no. <laughs> he, it's definitely not hygiene. You're a very clean boy, actually. A very clean man. He showers a lot. He's a Virgo, so he takes care of himself, but. You've never really gotten really into use like a products. skincare I, yeah, routine. Yeah, I've always just gone the cheap route. Or whatever you know, the fuck like I had in the shower. Yeah, or, you know, he didn't yeah. really ever get men's products. So he got himself a little skincare set, guys. Josh is really moving up in the world at 27 years old. He's yeah, I don't 27 use any face in two stuff weeks, at all. So you know that? Yeah. Next week. Old. Next week you're turning 27. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> and then I also got this mascara by Essence. All right, so update. That Revolution eyeliner was the worst eyeliner I've ever used in my entire life. So I sent Josh back to the store to get the Stila one because tried and true, baby. All right, so I'm about to film. This is where I've been filming in our bedroom with this as the backdrop. If you watch my channel, hopefully. If you watch this channel, you probably watch my main channel. But I'm about to record a video on the Golden State Killer Case, which is so overdue for my channel. Ooh, what lucky dogs. Farmer's dog? Farmer's dog. It's not <laughs> I know. Not the right song, but <laughs> I know. Yes. Farmer's dog is one of our sponsors on the podcast, and we absolutely love it. The dogs love Farmer's dog. You can use the code Mile Higher for a discount, guys. I mean, hey. That's like 50% off. Today. Is it really? Yeah. Dude, this stuff's the best. So we went to get the bunnies veggies and realized we are out of veggies. We totally forgot last night. We were so tired going to bed that we are out. So we are headed to the store for a little late night grocery trip. Are you going pee pee? We were just saying how much we love coming to the grocery store at night because it's so empty. Nobody and we can cares. just fuck around and be loud and take our time and there's no hustle bustle, you know? So I feel like Pokey that is frozen cannot be good. What do you oh, think? No. I don't know. I feel Might like that's good. very risky. The box, of course, like makes it look delicious. I don't know, I'm not gonna get stuck. It's probably gross. So I don't know if you guys have this at your grocery store, but we have this Mimo Moki ice cream balls. It's... Well, a lot of people have Moki. I don't yeah. know though, I haven't seen it like this in grocery stores it's very like often. It's so good. You like just get a, pick out what you flavors yeah. you want. Like that. Mm, Boom. So good. Guys, look at this shit. Someone left a diaper on the ground. Like, really, dude? Get back, me. Get back. That is such a nasty thing to litter. Like, and I would normally pick up trash, but I'm not picking up someone's diaper. That's sick. So, when I was in the grocery store, I found this, and I was curious, so I bought it. And this is fruit flavored mochi. All right, we're gonna give it a little taste through here. I always love to find, like, something weird and random at the grocery store and try it. Most of the time it ends up being gross. This kind of looks like one of those like weird Christmas gumdrop gummies that are like kind of minty, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. 
It kind of tastes like plastic. Yeah, they didn't look very good. I want to know your opinion. Try this. Ew, what the hell? Oh, hell no. Mm. That tastes like a bunch of nothingness. I knew it was going to be gross, really nothing, like but a, I bought it anyway. Like a booger almost. Like. <laughs> Honestly, the There's are... probably someone out there that's like, Ugh. I fucking love that stuff. It oh. tastes like plastic. Like, it doesn't really taste like supposed to eat this. No. Actually, I'm spitting it out. It's gross. <laughs> so I have a bit of a fungus gnat problem going on with this plant, which can happen pretty easily. I've been letting it dry out, which sometimes kills them, but there's a ton in here. I put in a fly trap earlier this week, and it was just covered in them. There's no way the camera's going to pick it up. But I am going to treat the soil. And basically what you do is you use three parts water and one part uh, hydrogen peroxide. Hi. This will kill all the larvae that is in the plant, in the base, in the soil and stuff because they will hatch and then come to the top. And it's really gross and they start flying around your house and it's just nastiness. So there's the hydrogen peroxide. So this will kill them literally on contact. Sayonara suckers. I highly doubt the camera is gonna pick them up, but there's tons and they are fleeing. They're trying to leave the scene. So I'm gonna get some cinnamon and put it on top. That's supposed to also work. Okay, so I have my cinnamon and I'm gonna see if this trick works because I have not tried this one. I know that the other one does because I've used it plenty of times. All right, hello, hello. It is the next morning. Currently getting ready. And I actually like that curling iron better today. Uh, it definitely is like a loose type of wave, which I really like. So when I went to Ulta yesterday, they gave me that free gift and in it was this Revolution foiled eyeshadow. And then it also came with like a tiny little eyeshadow primer, but it's like super liquidy, which I have never, never seen that before. Oh, this is cool. Last weekend when I was in the mountains, my grandmother, the one that has Alzheimer's, was married to my grandfather that passed away in February, if some of you remember that. He had a stroke and it was like two weeks in the hospital of just hell and it was just a terrible experience. So I didn't vlog during that time at all. That was a really shitty time and um, my grandma has Alzheimer's so it's been shitty since because she doesn't always remember that he's passed and we constantly have to tell her and it really sucks she actually fell over the weekend when janelle and i were in the mountains and um broke her hip really bad and had to have hip surgery and when she was having hip surgery they gave her a scan and they actually found that she has uh, a tumor in her pancreas and it's not bad right now luckily it's not like full-blown pancreatic cancer but it's not great so it's been a really stressful week for my family. So Janelle and I are actually going to head over there today and see her. And I want to bring my camera because, you know, you just never, I always think I'll film with her next time. I'll film her next time. I'll film next time because I love having my grandparents on film. It's so important. And I have the clips that I do have of my grandpa now. I'm like, I treasure them so much. Like I have both my grandpas that have passed away, I have some vlog footage of them and I'm so thankful that I have it. And I always put it off with my grandma, but I'm just gonna bring the camera today and get some footage of her just so that I have something to remember her. So yeah, it's been pretty damn emotional and shitty, not gonna lie, it's been a stressful week. Oh, he has little heart paws. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh yeah, my mom said you were trying to think of a name still. Yeah. So how are you doing? Let's pull it on the new girl. We're good. We went to the mountains last weekend for a little vacation, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful up there. It was. I'm pretty sure there's some pictures. How's I... your hip feeling? It's there. Yeah, it's there. This one is Kendall's dog. This one's my dog. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this more. Oh, there's another big one. Mm -hmm. It's Charlie Boy. Oh, we visited a uh, stream. Let me show you that. Yes, we did. Beautiful that stream. Was beautiful. Yeah, I think one time in the Boulder House, a deer came up to the hot tub. Oh, 
Oh. And we fed a carrots, I think. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah, we brought mm -hmm. carrots out and we fed the deer the carrots. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. When did you get this? Wow. Oh, I remember. I was here for this. Oh, this was Lafayette. Lafayette house. So it is. Yep. Hmm. Owen. Oh yeah. Oh, there's me. Sure. I was there. Here we go, girls. I was there. Oh, cute. That's a great book. I wonder who made this. Brother and sister. Yep, brothers and sister. Oh, look at that. Looks like Bernie. Look at this. It oh looks my like gosh, Bernie, it but really does. It's actually my dog Chance. It does look like Bernie. How cute. <laughs> it seriously looks exactly, exactly like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> well, you just missed it. It looks so funny. This man putting on his suit jacket and he's walking. See him. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. This was him and I last night oh, at the concert. Oh, Isn't that cute. great? That is great. I know. It's very cute. That's a big 